as a rule, we don't really talk about suicide on the news. It's just not just us. It's standard journalistic practice. We cover every car crash, every homicide, but suicide is different. A terribly personal tragedy that isn't always news. Well, we're going to change that tonight because we have a problem. 851 South Carolinians took their own life in 2019. That was up from the year before and early numbers show it is likely up again last year. We can save lives right now by talking about this problem. And with your help, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're averaging probably at least two a week. It would be better if Parks Evans was bored, but the Greenville County Coroner has a growing caseload, more investigations of more preventable deaths. They're busy handling those suicide cases. They're going up. They are, they are, and they're going up every year. In 2019 and 2020, Evans and his office investigated 84 Greenville County homicides and 148 suicides, a number that will likely rise as they close cases from 2020. Another 119 people took their own life in Spartanburg County in those same two years. Between drug overdose and suicide, the most common coroner calls are deaths of despair. This is by far the worst uh, we've seen. Other trends are particularly chilling. The average age is getting younger. About 22% of those Greenville and Spartanburg suicide deaths are people aged 25 or younger with a growing number of children, including two 10-year-old boys in Greenville County and an 11-year-old girl in Spartanburg County. So what's really going on? Part of the problem may be a failure to spot the signs of struggle. And while there are exceptions, almost all of these cases showed some of the signatures of self-harm, a loss of interest in work or school, feeling hopeless, angry, or depressed. Often, suicide victims will specifically say they're thinking about it before doing it. Those lives could be saved with an intervention of love, listening, and hope. Jennifer Butler leads the Office of Suicide Prevention at the State Department of Mental Health. With suicide, there still lies the stigma of this was a choice that, some, that an individual made. When we know from research um, on the brain that during a suicidal crisis, that individual is not able to access the parts of their brain that would allow them to cope as they normally would. That public stigma is so strong, even after a person has died, some victims' families will try to hide it, as if a suicide death was a source of family shame. They'll do anything to try to uh, get you headed in another direction. We, uh, we had a, a case in, here in the last week or so where, you know, and one of my deputy coroners happened to look at a pad and saw some indentation uh, on that pad where something had been written uh, on a sheet of paper on the, and torn off. And we brought the pad back and uh, brought the, that writing up and it was a suicide note and that note had been taken. Clearly, what's most important is preventing death in the first place. And this may be the best option. What's going on? A staff of about 100 volunteers answers the Suicide Prevention Lifeline, a national program with staff in every state. Mental Health America of Greenville County is the only Lifeline location in South Carolina, fielding nearly 32,000 calls in 2019. And now, during the pandemic, the need is growing. We have also seen a dramatic increase in the level of anxiety and distress that callers are having. So. What may have before been a four minute phone call or a seven minute phone call may now be an hour and a half phone call. Of course, you can fill that role too. The most important thing to remember is this. If there's a big change in someone's behavior and you're close enough to that person to notice the change, you're close enough to ask, are you okay? Those three words can and often do save lives. We have to love them enough and care enough about them to reach out. Probably noticed for this story, I didn't interview the families of those who took their own lives because we wanted to focus on the scope of a public health crisis by the numbers. In 2019, 441 people were murdered in South Carolina. 1,006 people died in a car crash and 851 people died by suicide. If you go now to WSPA.com, you'll find this lifeline number. It's 800-273-273. 
talk. We have tons of other great resources, too, for people in crisis and for the people who love them.